So in this video, I'm going to try to illustrate to you uh, the NAT64 in FortiGate. And this is the topology that I am using to test this feature with FortiGate. My VOS1 is sitting here on an interface E0 with an IP v6 address that i am using on it so this is my ipv6 address right here one colon colon one i configured this address here as a slash 64 and my firewall 40 gate firewall is configured with port one to be my management, which is my laptop. It's on a 192.168.71 segment. Port 2 is configured with VOS 1 and Port 3 is going to be configured IPv4 only. So this is IPv4, this is IPv6 segment. And on this firewall, I am going to configure IPv4 to V6 NAT64. This is what my V3 V2 is VOS2 with a dummy interface of 200.2.2.2. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to create a VIP, a V6 VIP of triple one colon colon two. So when VOS1 hits this VIP, It's going to get translated to v4 address, which is going to be the address of p3. And it's going to get mapped to this address, 200.222. So I'm going to illustrate this with 40 gate. I already have this configured, but I want to go ahead and do a cold start with the firewall. So uh, the way to do that is execute factory reset. Yes. And then once it comes up, <clears throat> while it's coming up, let me just show you the VOS configuration. So show interface. My Ethernet is 1011. I don't need this address, so I'm going to have, I'll go ahead and delete this. Configure, delete interface Ethernet, Ethernet 0, address 10. Commit, <clears throat> show interface Ethernet, Ethernet 0. I've only got an IPv6 address with one, colon, colon, one, and I am going to configure my firewall with an IPv6 address here that is going to be 1 colon colon 11 slash 64 and this is going to be my VIP so let's do this 40 gate comes up raw factory reset admin no password set the new password to whatever you want configure system interfaces <clears throat> and i'm going to do edit port one that's my management port i'm going to set default gateway disabled. I don't want a default route going out to my management. I'm going to set allow access HTTP and ping and the management. And I'm going to end. I'm going to set the firewall name to config 
system global to set host name firewall one. That's all I'm going to do on the GU, uh, on the CLI for the 40 gig. I'm going to use the GUI now to go in Before you configure IPv6 uh, related information, you have to go to your system. I typically go and set the idle time out to 55. So I don't have to log in every five minutes. And then from a feature visibility standpoint, you're gonna have to go turn on IPv6 and you're gonna have to go turn on NAT64. You apply IPv6 and this shows up. And you turn this one on and you apply. So now you can go and check your interfaces and your policies. It'll show up the NAT64 stuff. Let's go configure the interface that's facing VOS1, which is port 2, edit. I'm just going to configure IPv6 address 11 slash 64, ping, OK. And I ping, run ping 11. Okay, port two. I enabled the ping for IPv4. Need to change that to v6. It should start pinging. Okay, so I'm on the right interface. Now for the default gateway. Now if the you're trying to reach a VIP address, IPv6 VIP address, which is triple one. So you need a default gateway right here, right? On BIOS one. So let's look at that default gateway, edit protocol, static route, show, show. And here's how it looks like. Uh, you can delete this one if you want. I'm going to go ahead and delete this delete route quad zero commit show. So here's the next top quad zero route is going to look like set route six colon colon slash zero next top. And then my next top is one colon colon 11. Okay, that's how you set the default route in IPv6 and then once you do show IPv6, show IPv6 route there's your quad zero going to your firewall okay so now I should be able to ping triple one colon colon two is what I'm trying to reach right here ping and SSH and whatever Okay, no route. So now let's go configure v6. <clears throat> this is going to get mapped to VOS2. It just got 200, 222 here. So I'm going to have to create a static route in my VOS, in my firewall to reach this address. Address is 200 slash 32. Or three, <clears throat> the address is 10.2.2.2, and that's four three. I haven't configured that yet. So this guy is by default show IP route going to the firewall address, which is 10.2.2.100. Four three is V4 only. And to two, one hundred slash twenty four. Ping. Ping. 
ping 10 to 2 100 okay so i'm good here my port 2 my port 2 is ipv6 my port 3 is ipv6 ipv4 let's confirm that and i port 3 is ipv4 port 2 is ipv6 i don't have an ipv4 address <clears throat> So now I have to go configure the NAT policy. I did configure the routing static route to reach 200 because that's what I'm trying to do here. This VOS one is coming on over IPv6, trying to hit the VIP triple one colon colon two, and this is going to get mapped to this guy, not six four mapped to this guy, right? Is what I'm trying to do, and then V1, uh, Vos1, and Vos2 should be able to talk to each other. Static route is there. Interfaces are all configured. Port two and port three, V6, V4. Again, let's take a look at V. Port two. I've got an IPv6 address only. Okay. I have no IPv4 address here. Let's go configure the policies now. NAT64 policy. Let's create one. Let's make sure this we have some visibility here. So that when this guy pops up, we know it works. This guy is not working yet. So we're gonna create a policy. NAT64 policy one incoming interface is port two, this guy. And outgoing interface is port three. Source is going to be all six V6. See how the, the six is here? And the destination is going to be all V4. Services are all. And I'm going to use the outgoing interface address. I'm not defining any pools. So I'm going to use the IPv4 address of port 3. OK. Still not working. Here's one thing that you need to do as well. NAT64 forwarding. You got to turn this on so that starts forwarding and it's still not working so now we're going to go configure the whip which we haven't yet or to like be <clears throat> v6 at 64 so the we're not creating a v4 or v6 whip we're creating an at 64 whip that's 6.4 six, four translation, so we're going to create an external IP, as we mentioned, triple one, colon, colon, two, to be translated to 200.222. Let's make sure that we can reach 200.222 first, that our static routing is working. It is. Now let's go do the NAT64 magic. NAT64. External is two map addresses to two hundred two 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 should start working. It's still not working. So on the NAT six four policy, the destination is going to be NAT64 VIP, not all. That was the mistake. Configure that correctly. And there it is. So your NAT64 policy would not have destination all. It's going to have the destination of the WIP that you created. My WIP name is 64P1. 64P1 is a simple map of 
BIP to IPv4 with all services. So now I'm accessing my VOS2 from a V6 to V4. Let's do a, so it's picking all right. Now let's do a SSH VOS into 11, triple one, colon, colon two. There you go. You're into VOS2. So this is how you enable NAT64 on a 40 gate firewall from scratch. Hope this helps.